Hello everybody, it is I, Father Philip, and today I am wearing purple. You might wonder why I'm wearing purple. Is it because it's my favourite colour? Is it because I like dressing up? No, it is a special season of the year. And what season is it? Well, I'll give you a clue. It is not ordinary time. The season we're talking about is the season of Lent. Lent lasts for 40 days because Jesus spent 40 days in the desert before he began his work. 40 is an important number in the Bible. And so if you're in year five or six, you might want to find out why the number 40 is important and what it means. Lent is an old English word for spring, which is the time of year when Lent takes place. In spring, everything starts to grow again. In Lent, we grow in love in our hearts and minds. While spring is quite a good time for doing a bit of spring cleaning in our houses so that we can get everything neat and tidy for a wonderful summer, Lent is a great time for doing a bit of spring cleaning in the house of our heart so that we can be ready to celebrate Easter with mind and heart renewed. Lent is also a time when we realise that we can all get things wrong. It's very rare that we muck things up deliberately. Usually it's a bit of wear and tear because we're tired and we're, we're stressed and so we say things that are unkind or we're not as helpful as we should be. Or we end up making a silly mistake. I'm going to get you! That hurts ourselves or others. We all muck things up. But on Ash Wednesday, the first day of Lent, the ash that is made from last year's burnt palm leaves and put on our head is a sign that with Jesus' help, things can get much better. Lent is a journey. It's a journey that starts on Ash Wednesday and takes us all the way to somewhere completely different, to Easter. It's a journey from winter to spring. It's a journey from old life to new life. And on that journey, there are things that we need. On our Lent journey, there's three things we can take with us, and each of them will be very useful. The first thing is prayer. What is prayer? Prayer is basically time spent with God. There's lots of ways of praying, and maybe there's a way that you will like the best. But however we pray, it's like listening to God's heartbeat. And the more we do that, the more we think and love like Jesus. The second thing is fasting. What is fasting? Fasting is when we say no to something that we might enjoy, but we should say no to at least for a little bit of time. No. Fasting makes our hearts strong and our minds determined to keep following Jesus. And the third thing is a much longer word. Maybe it's not a word you've used much before. And that is almsgiving. What is almsgiving? Almsgiving is the care and love we show for other people especially those most in need. Another word for almsgiving is charity. In a world that can sometimes feel a bit cold, our love for others shines out like a bright, warming light. Those who need our love and care are not far away. They might be our friends. They might be in our class. They might be our neighbour. They might even live in our house. 
What extra things can we do to show them how much we love them and how much God loves them? Even here in England, there are people who don't have enough food to eat, who don't have somewhere safe to live, or who find it hard to pay their bills. We can help them by supporting our food bank, by leaving items of food here in church. Some people say that charity begins at home, and it does, but it stretches to the ends of the earth. Saint Oscar Romero said, It is not God's will for some to have everything, and others to have nothing. Everyone in the world is our neighbour. We are all one family. This Lent we can support CAFOD and other charities that do work in other parts of the world. So each of these three things, prayer, fasting and almsgiving, have the same effect on us. They make us more loving. They make us more able to live and love like Jesus. The final thing I want to say about Lent is that Lent is a very joyful time because it's the beginning of our journey towards Easter. But although it is joyful, there's one word beginning with A that we don't say for the whole of Lent because it's simply too joyful and we're going to save it up to Easter when we sing it and shout it as loud as we can. But because Lent hasn't started yet, we can all say it or shout it or sing it together right now. So when I go one, two, three, let's all together shout this word out. One, two, three, Alleluia! So that is the last time we will hear that word. It's the last time we will see that word. It's the last time we will write that word. It's the last time we will look at that word. It's the last time we will think of this word until Easter comes. So I hope that this Lent is a fantastic time for you. Remember to think of those three things, prayer, fasting and almsgiving. And what three things can you do to go with those words? Have a fantastic Lent. <laughs>